Deep sleep is great to save power, but you cannot let the ESP32 sleep forever. At some point, an external interrupt is needed to wake it up. And one way you can do that is by using the touch sensors. An example could be that you have a battery powered device with a display. To save power, you turn the display off and put the ESP32 into deep sleep. However, you might want to wake it up when someone touches your device so you can turn on the display and show something useful. Let's see how you can do that. Here I have a simple Arduino sketch that enables the serial, waits one second and then prints ESP32 has started. Now to allow the touch sensor to wake the ESP32 up, we have to do three things. We have to configure a threshold value, we have to enable the touch interrupt, and then we have to go into deep sleep. Let's start with the threshold value. I will define a constant here, and I will call it touch underscore threshold, and I'll set it to, let's say 40. The idea is that once the touch sensor has a reading below this value, the ESP32 will be woken from sleep. Next, we have to configure a touch pin so it can wake up the ESP32. I'll do that in the setup function and I will use touch attach interrupt to do that. This function takes three parameters, the touch pin you want to attach the interrupt to, a callback and a threshold value. Now to find a suitable pin, you should consult your ESP32 pinout. Here is mine and you can see that there are touch pins here here and here. I will pick touch zero, which is attached to GPIO number four. Now in our code, I can either use the number four, but I can also use T zero with the T standing for touch pin. Now either one is fine, but I'll stick to T zero. So I will add that here as the first parameter of our touch attach interrupt function. As second parameter, it expects a callback function. This function will be executed once the threshold is crossed. And this is useful if you want to keep the ESP32 in an active state and want to be notified when someone touches the pin. However, because we're using deep sleep, it is useless to us. So I will create an empty function here called callback and I will just pass it along as the second parameter. The last parameter is the threshold value below which the ESP32 should be woken up. Here we can use our touch underscore threshold value. So this lets the ESP32 know that it has to monitor touch pin zero. The last thing we have to do now before we can enter deep sleep is to enable touchpad wake up. You see, normally when we enter deep sleep, the ESP32 powers down as many peripherals as it can to save power. Here we want to make an exception for the touch sensor. And to do that, we have to call ESP underscore sleep underscore enable underscore touchpad wake up. This tells the ESP that the next time it goes into deep sleep, the touch sensor should stay on. And that's it. We can now go into deep sleep by calling ESP underscore deep underscore sleep underscore start. Just like in the previous videos. Note that our loop function stays empty because we'll always go into deep sleep at the end of our setup function. Now let's flash this to our ESP32 and see if it works. And of course, behind the scenes, I attached a wire to touch pin zero. Okay, so the flashing is done. I will open up the serial monitor. And you can see ESP32 has started. And we can see the message appear ESP32 has started. And that also means that we should be in deep sleep right now. Let's see if we can wake up the ESP32 by touching the wire. I will do that right now. And as you can see, straight away, there's some gibberish indicating that the ESP32 is starting and then it repeats the message ESP32 has started. And we can repeat this as often as we want because every time it awakes, we reconfigure the touch pin interrupt. So if I touch the wire again, you can see the ESP32 reboots again and echoes the message ESP32 has started. Pretty cool. Now, a small side note. Using the touch sensor as a wake up source does not require the ULP. 
Instead, this is run on the RTC, so you'll have very little power consumption when you go into deep sleep with one of the touch pins configured as an interrupt. Pretty great. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about using Arduino and the ESP32.